Welcome back to John's Films. Do you often shoot in the same location and you get tired of grading the same stuff? Well, check this out. I've got my footage in my timeline. I'm in my studio where I shoot quite a lot. And I started adding a lot of these nodes to get ready for a color grade. And I thought, oh yeah, that's right. Power grades are a thing. That means that because I've saved it before, I can right click and apply the grade. Boom. And now I've got a, a node for everything that I need to go in and adjust or tweak for the lighting that's particular at this moment some windows behind me as I'm shooting this. And so it can be brighter or darker. Maybe uh, the color was a little bit off of the light that day or something. So I can now tweak it in here. Unlike if I used a LUT, I get what I get. Now I've got to go add more nodes and start tweaking it. In my case here, all the nodes are here and I'm able to make it look like I want. So today I see, oh, I'll go to my contrast because gosh, those are, it's pretty crushed there. Pull it up. I go over to my skin and I see that I got most of it. I didn't get all of it. So let's just, let's grab another selection on that real quick. Here we go. And then I'll squeeze it down. Okay, not that side. Let's try this side. There we go. Pull it down, saturation. And get that down to the skin. I'd keep working on that for a minute. Color balance, I'm now able to look at it and say, whoa, it's off. Let's look at the white balance. Hmm. All right, so. Choose my white balance tool, pick the AC, there we go. And now my end result isn't as crushed, it's more balanced in color, and I didn't have to do that much to it. So how do I create that? Well, it starts in the gallery here, and you would right click on whatever grade you've got set up that you like, and click grab still. From here, I'm able to come to this still that I grabbed, and reapply it if I want to. But more importantly, I can right click on it and export it. Now I have a saved, We'll call it saved still that I can use in other programs, other projects. So if I open up another project, let's jump over here. And I wanted to apply it to this grade for some reason. More likely, I'd apply it to my A roll that I have of my studio. But we'll click right click in that and click import, double click on save still. And now I have the ability to, you bet, click on the film, right click and apply grade. And all of a sudden my grade is all the way through there and I can apply it or tweak it as I need to. I hope this helped you. This is just a quick tip that I thought was pretty helpful. I typically do DaVinci Resolve benchmarking as well as tips and tricks here on the channel. Thanks for watching. If you haven't been here before, click subscribe. Got more stuff coming up that should be fun. And if you ever get to the question of what should I buy for hardware and DaVinci Resolve, this is the place you come. Thanks for watching and have a great day.